Okay. Just kidding. I'm fing up. Let's try again. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I have with me Carlito. He's gonna be teaching us muscle ups. He yep. is the king of calisthenics in Toronto. So he's gonna be walking us through four main exercises to help strengthen our muscles to eventually get our muscle up. I can only kipping muscle up. I'm not strong enough yet, but he's gonna That's tell me. Me. I know. He's, well, no, no it's not. Come on. He's gonna tell me how to get strong so that way I can do a strict muscle up. So oh. let's see it. Let's do it. So, first of all, I want to see you up on the bar. Let's see what you got. Give me the best muscle up you've ever done. Oh, you just want me to go into yeah, it? Yeah, I want it? you to go I got to do a little it. jumpy jump. I want you to give me that first muscle up. <laughs> Look at that. There we okay. go. Let's see how big of a kip I have. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. That's fine. All right, so the first thing I want you to start working on is to eliminate that kip a little bit. We actually got to work with that kip. So I want you to, first of all, let's work on that kip with something called pull-ups. All right, okay. so you're gonna be hanging up on the bar and we're gonna go into a little bit of a swing, you know, the same similar swing that you did for your kip there. And then I want you to go up into a pull-up. So okay. you're gonna kip into your chest and pull at the same time. It's kind of like a shoulder pull down. You're pulling down to your legs, you're bending the bar and you're bringing your knees up as soon as you feel. So I can bend my knees a little bit. Yes, you can. Let's go, we're progressing here. I've never really tried these before, so it's here we go. all about pro progression. Yes, there you go, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So you got the timing right and that is key. Key, key thing here as we talk about pullouts, as we talk about the muscle ups, is making sure that your timing is right. If your timing is not right, you're gonna make it hard for yourself, you're gonna develop bad habits, and things in general are gonna become a little bit harder. So being able to have that pull-up motion, and jumping from one to the other will give you that air time, will give you that power to be able to go over our pieces. Now, I want you to try it again, all okay. right? Since you already know how to do muscle-ups, all right, at your own style and level, I want you to try it again, and this time try to go over Oh, so like full muscle up. Like a full muscle up, but, but kind of incorporate the same technique. Yes. Okay. okay. So you're going out. Yeah. There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Try it again. Beautiful. Nice work. One more time? Yeah. Okay. One more. Come on. You're not going to ask one more time again? Nope. Ah, come on. <laughs> Three <right>. is good. <laughs> So the idea is to eventually create a more fluid movement that you're able to jump into it a lot easier, okay? So practicing those pullouts, it's about timing, it's about flow, it's about feeling nice and controlled with that move, all right? You wanna jump into the second one? Yeah, let's go to the second one. All right, so let's make it over into the parallel bars here. Next exercise for us is going to be straight bar dips, all right? The parallel bars are great for that. Um, because we can do a bunch of stuff, but on the straight bar dips, I want you to jump up, okay? And you're gonna go, you with your elbows back, go into uh, a dip here and back up, okay? When you're doing this dip, you wanna make sure that you're kind of breaking your body in half, keeping your feet in front and not bringing your feet back, so you can continue keeping a little bit of good balance there. Go up, yes, see me that. Beautiful, beautiful. You see how your elbows are pointing back, you're leaning your chest forward. This is a great conditioning and strength exercise so that when you're transitioning into that muscle up, you're able to jump in and get it nice and easy. There you go. You've done these ones before. I got this one. This one, yes. okay. Anything right. with rhythm, not so much. <laughs> Speaking of rhythm, let's get into our next exercise then. It's going to be our Russian dips, all right? So, for our Russian go. dips, all right? What I want you to do is you're gonna start with your um, elbows down on the on the bar, holding onto the bar, and then you're gonna lean your body forward and jump into that straight bar, into that uh, parallel dip there, okay? You're gonna go back down. You can start on that position again. Explode, put your body forward, and bring yourself into that dip. Let's see how we do. A little small bit far, let's try. <laughs> okay, so I'm here. You got this, yes, core tight yourself back up beautiful you can reset go back into it beautiful good so with this we can work a little bit on that transition and that power that flow in that position exploding forward so this is what will help you from your pull over then into that transition and then into that push part 
beautiful. All right, we're good. We got three exercises already that you can start incorporating into your muscle up training uh, to make it a little bit more flowy, a little bit more strict, a little bit better. We're gonna add one more, all right? So this one's gonna be your jump transition here. All right, so on that same parallel bar, on a short bar, you want that bar to be about, you know, your chest area for you, of course, gonna be a lot higher. Higher, higher chest we, area. We need, we need <laughs> heels on you for this. All right, so what I want you to do is you're gonna come down onto the ground, okay? And you can give me a little bit of a, of a motion here to go forward, back. This is recreating your swing, and then you can jump up into when I that jump up, muscle. Up. Do I get to fully stand first, or is it like? You want to try and make it? Yes, that's perfect. Like that? So it's a bit of a combination of both. You're using your legs and leveraging the power of your legs to kind of take away a little bit from the strength part of it, so you can gotcha. work on that transition a little bit. So from here. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. And this is a really, really good opportunity to start working on some of the bad habits that you can develop getting into your muscle up, like the chicken wing or oh, like the, the, that guy? the outward elbows. Yeah. So yeah. a very, very common mistake. And I can pretty much guarantee that a lot of people through their muscle up journey has gone through some sort of um, bad habit like this is opening up the shoulders. Yeah. A lot of the times, um, we get into a pull position and when we're good here and then we open up our, our elbows and we leverage our shoulders and then that's how we get up and that ideally yes it is <laughs> for a lot of people that's just kind of like the way it happens and we get stuck with bad habits like that and then from there into habits like going into that yeah. chicken wing and then going up when i up, see that i think uh, people are going to dislocate their shoulder it's tough and it ends up creating a lot of injury. So this is a good opportunity for you to practice a few things. The one thing that I want you to think about is pulling down with your pinky. So you're essentially trying to bend the bar, all right? So okay. give me a little bit of that torque when you're doing that external rotation on your shoulder there. You'll be able to bring in your elbows in, yeah. all right? So as doing that, you're gonna be able to come down, okay? Go over into that muscle up. When you're up, your elbows are pointing back and not out, and you're Going to be able oh, to go. My knees are so ashy. That. Don't catch those. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> Anyways, back to the workout. We're gonna look at little T's ashy knees for the next video. They're so embarrassing. How to not moisturize your skin? Because I was doing something on the ground earlier. I was doing mobility. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what I wanted shower. to what I wanted to ask you is because I see a lot of people who have their thumbs over yeah. versus not hooked. Yeah. What is your Suggestion. Beautiful. So that's a really good question. Um, there's a few things. When you are just practicing and training your muscle up, I suggest you get the thumb under okay. because this is a safety measure yeah, for you. you can't fall. If you go over, you won't fall down into it. Yeah. As opposed to if you're having your thumb over, you're not able to do so. Another reason mm. why I like having the, the thumb under is because it allows you to do a little bit of an overhand grip when you're down oh, on that like the bar. False grip? It's not full false grip where you're putting your wrist into work, but you're kind of making sure that your knuckles are pointing up. So this will help you gain a little bit more strength in your forearms. It will also help you transition a little bit better into that full muscle up, okay? okay cool. But you're freestyler. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you're a gymnast. I was like, well, freestyle what? <laughs> no, but for, for a lot of people who, for example, do a lot of freestyle in calisthenics, yeah. um, it is appropriate to have that thumb over because it's kind of quite the opposite. Instead you of, want that freedom. you do want to have that freedom of being able to like pop out of uh, the bar and be able to land and also grab it in the same way. So leveraging that, it kind of depends on your style and kind of your training. And, and your really goals. You're if you're trying to go do. strong or like strength, exactly. this, if you're going to go towards freestyle, so people can like grab the bar, <laughs> flip, shrimp, up. Uh, all of that then cool thumbs stuff. over. <laughs> yeah. So no, that's actually super important because a lot of people kind of overlook that. But I really, really yeah. recommend that. Depending on your goal, you go for one or the other. If you're just starting, get that thumb under. Be safe. Make it as easy and as effective for you. And then moving ahead, you can start working with that grip a little bit more. Yeah. Well, I want you to show your muscle up. Yeah. This let's is get some amazing. muscle ups here. This is All right. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. What, would, what did we just go through? 
Oh, what are we just going through? So we did the swing to high pull. Uh huh. The swing to high pull. So this is the key points of rhythm. Yeah. And timing and working together. And then if we combine right there, this is our straight bar dip. We're hiking forward a little bit. There you go. And that snap forward that we did for the Russian dip, that's where the transition coming over the bar. Exactly. So, you so can right go. here is where you do that Russian dip. And this is also the transitional part too. Yes. And then if we're looking into doing something a little bit more strict, more straight, we'll go down, we'll rest a little bit here. And it'll come all the way up. Look at that. Strict. No That's swing. how we do it. <laughs> I can't do that yet. One day. Not yet. That's why I'm going to do this workout. <laughs> but you're going to be practicing after this a lot. Yes. So let's do this. So yeah. All right, well that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like the way Carlito taught or if you guys are interested in any other types of calisthenics training that he does, he teaches front levers, dragons, muscle ups, literally everything. Check out his one-on-one -on -one training. He's in person as well as online through his online programming. So I'll put that here with his at somewhere around here. Thank you. Here. Right, right here. Right, right here. Right here. <laughs> is where you can catch him. But that is it for today's video. If you guys have any questions at all, just leave up below, like, subscribe, and comment. And then also a reminder, I do have my own app as well if you're looking for some other exercises. It's wicked. And that's it. <laughs>